Thank you for tuning into English Christian Times. July 7th. Saint Pantinus of Alexandria. This learned father, an apostolic man, flourished in the Second Age. He was by birth a Sicilian, and by profession, a Stoic philosopher. For his eloquence, he is styled by Saint Clement of Alexandria, the Sicilian B. His esteem for virtue led him into an acquaintance with the Christians, and being charmed with the innocence and sanctity of their conversation, he opened his eyes to the truth. He studied the Holy Scriptures, under the disciples of the Apostles, and his thirst after sacred learning, brought him to Alexandria in Egypt, where the disciples of Saint Mark, had instituted a celebrated school, of the Christian doctrine. Pantinus sought not to display his talents, in that great mart of literature and commerce, but his great progress in sacred learning, was after some time discovered, and he was drawn out of that obscurity, in which his being placed, at the head of the Christian school, some time before the year 179, which was the first of Commodus, by his learning and excellent manner of teaching, he raised its reputation above all the schools, of the philosophers, and the lessons which he read, and which were gathered, from the flowers of the prophets, and apostles, conveyed light and knowledge, into the minds of all his hearers, as Saint Clement of Alexandria, his eminent scholar, says of him. The Indians, who traded to Alexandria, entreated him to pay their country a visit, in order to confute their Brachmans. Hereupon, he forsook his school, and was established by Demetrius, who was made Bishop of Alexandria in 189, preacher of the gospel to the eastern nations. Eusebius tells us that, Saint Pantinus found some seeds of the faith, already sown in the Indies, and a book of the Gospel of Saint Matthew, in Hebrew, which Saint Bartholomew had carried thither. He brought it back with him to Alexandria, whither he returned after, he had zealously employed, some years in instructing the Indians, in the faith. The public school was at that time governed by Saint Clement, but Saint Pantinus continued to teach, in private till in the reign of Caracalla, consequently before the year 216, he closed a noble and excellent life by a happy death, as Rufinus writes.